Okay. This one goes out to Good Cat. This is the uh, battle screen, basically. This is the scout ship. There's some pirate vessels. I'm not sure exactly what their class is. It's probably destroyers. And I stand no chance. Yep. So there, that was the uh, the combat screen, as you can see. So that's what it is. I mean, you got the two sides. You've got your ships, and you've got the enemy ships, and they play cards um, that have different statistics. Uh, and that pretty much uh, shows the outcome of battle. And the cards will do different things for your ships, depending on the situation that they're in. I'm a little sick right now, so. And this is the uh, this is the world map, and as you can see, it's this entire galaxy region right here, all this whole place. Um, this is just what I've got mapped out right now. See, here's another scout ship. That's the way the battle just took place right here in this world. I'll send him down, and we'll scout out right here. Okay, well I thought we would. I guess he doesn't want to. There we go. Okay, and that system's owned. And you can see the uh, different planets within the system. See here. And each planet has a statistic. And these are upgrades for the planets. Uh, the system themselves, the whole system upgrade. And these are the ships I can currently build. Yeah, I know I've only got three and it's turn like a bazillion. Uh, I'm just messing around with this game. Uh, and as you can see, you got the medium terror, and it gives the bonuses. See, these are this is the population uh, unit. And it says for the medium terror, the effects, you know, for every population unit, you've got plus statistic. Uh, the blue squiggly line is science for research. Uh, the gold symbol is dust for money. Uh, the gears are industry for building, and the uh, the green is food for eating. <laughs> and then down here I've got a special uh, little resource that I've dug up off of this planet. That sometimes they have, and sometimes they don't. See, like this one has nothing, but it's a medium barren. And this one has that over here, medium lava. Different lava, different, uh, different lava, yeah. Different planet types. And you pretty much build a colony ship and it takes one of your population units and you can send it over to a system like this, which is newly colonized, and bam, there you go. You just gotta find good systems. And the AI is like a million years ahead of me already. But that's okay, because I got good research going on. Kind of. So here's the research tree. You've got your diplomacy and trading technology tree, and this is pretty much where your main focus is improving your fleet management. <laughs> uh, for now, anyways. You know, you've got your whole tree over here, different improvements. See, like, you research. They'll say you're looking at this here. Uh, after you research that, these are the two things you'll get out of it. See, like right here, research that. I get two command points on fleet and bonuses. Okay, that's cool. And then over here is more of an uh, industrial kind of setting. It's the applied sciences technology tree. And this is where you get things like your mining research uh, to unlock using your special things. Uh, like let's this right here, finding titanium 70 uh, and understanding that. Uh, you have to have that for missiles, uh, and torpedoes rather. Yeah. And then down here is your exploration and expansion technology tree. And this is where you get uh, mainly you're going to look at your ship class upgrades. So you kind of here you got your dreadnought. And you keep going, you got your colonization, uh, planet terraforming. 
uh, just bonuses in general, and I totally just jacked up my technology tree for some reason. Great. Okay, well, I'll come back to that later. Uh, here you've got your colonial management. These are the generals that I have, commanders. And here you see basically what he is. He's a pilot, but I don't have a big fleet roaming around, so I just stuck on a planet to get experience. Uh, shows their specialties. You know, he's an administrator, commander, whatever. He's got different bonuses because he's an administrator. He's got different bonuses. Obviously, he's a fighter based on that. And uh, here we go. Fleet management. Here's where you got your fleets. You can rename your fleet here to whatever you want. I don't know. Uh, okay, there you go. There you can, uh, you know, you got your ship designs. You've got your ship designs that you can build here. No, this is my destroyer class. It's a Corvette class. I don't know why they don't have a frigate class. It's the only thing that bothers me about it, you know. Got a Corvette class, not a frigate class. And, oh, well, we got a destroyer. Whatever. A transport. That's This is the colony ship for this uh, species. Uh, yeah. And here's your diplomacy menu. This is the people that I've seen so far, and these are the people that are here that I don't know. And I have a feeling that these guys are going to be terrible to deal with. And here, you've got your generals. And, uh, this is a guy I can hire, and this is a guy I do have hired. And this guy kind of sucks, uh, so I'm hoping that the guy that comes in in five turns will be much better. <laughs> yeah, they come in every so many turns you get a uh, chance to buy new generals or whatever, and then of course you have like a limit of how many you can have based on your research over on this side, I believe. Uh, somewhere has to do something with your hero academy. Uh, they call it an academy for whatever reason. Let me see, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Academy cap on empire. It'll let you have plus two generals. I think the cap is three. Yeah, it is. And there's your galaxy with your statistics. And I'm really sucking. Uh, and here's your menu options, whatever. You know about that. It's an interesting game. You come in here, you got all this stuff. Like, see here, this one, well, that's not what I was looking at. There we go. See, like, you can increase that. You can have one that's based solely on money, trade. That's good for building ships. You can single out systems to do certain things. Uh, full statistical analysis. <laughs> of course you have to worry about keeping people happy also so that's just a, an overview of the things on the game just so you can get a look at it uh, yeah. and this is just in the alpha stage too I mean it's pretty good as you see you get the fleet battle there and they're pretty amazing I mean then you get the bigger ships and the sizes of the ships oh the firepower you throw out. It's pretty good. I like it. It's not too bad. Not too shabby. And it's an indie game and plus I mean this the way they're 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 going about doing it, the developers. It's pretty good. It's something very worth looking into. It was definitely worth uh getting. Definitely worth getting. It reminds me a lot of Sword of the Stars. It's it's more of an arcade version of Sword of the Stars, I wanna say. Uh it's not as technically I almost want to say proficient but I also want to say difficult <laughs> it's different in aspects and it makes it interesting uh, it's just different it's like a, a different sort of the stars I like it it's pretty good